Hi, this is your instructor, Deborah Sable Thornbrew, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to create and run a macro in Word 2016. For the purpose of Word 2016 software, a macro is a series of keystrokes and commands that have been recorded and saved so that you can run it anytime you want by just clicking a button or by pressing a keystroke combination. So to start a macro, first you have to go to the View tab. So I'm going to go up here to the top of my screen and click View. Then on the right hand side you'll find the Macros button. When you click the Macros button, click the bottom half and then click Record Macro. The Record Macro dialog box will be displayed and this is where you set it up before you actually start to record. The first thing you do is change the name to something familiar. So what I want to do is record a professional signature for my business letters so I don't have to keep typing it all the time. So I'm going to name this professional and I'm going to abbreviate professional underscore signature. Now something you have to remember is when you're giving a macro a name you have to put an underscore or underline in between the words. It won't accept a name that has any blank spaces. When you're finished typing the name you can decide whether to assign a button or a keyboard to your macro. I'm going to choose to assign a button so I'm going to click the button icon. When I do that the Word Options dialog box comes on and the button itself is located here on the left hand side. So I'm going to click to select it. Then on the right hand side, it, this is where I decide where I want the button to appear on my screen when I'm using Word. The default setting is to put it on your quick access toolbar, that place in the upper left corner of your screen where you can click save and undo and things like that. That's the most common one so I'm going to go ahead and keep it on the quick access toolbar. So what I have to do then is add this new button over here. So I clicked to select it and then I just click add. And I can leave it alone as it is or I can change the icon. If I don't like the way this icon looks here, I can change it to something else. So I'm going to click, make sure it's selected, and then here I can click Modify. From here I can choose any one of many different icon pictures. Just for simplicity's sake I'm going to choose this yellow happy face. Then click OK. But before I click OK, look at the display name. Do you want your new button name to be displayed like this? I don't, so I'm going to delete that and just call it Professional Signature. This is a situation where the spacing is okay. You don't have to have an underscore. So now I have a new button set up and I can just click OK down here. And if you look up here to my quick access toolbar, there is the happy face. It's not yellow though, it's white because of the style uh, and design that I have chosen for my Office Suite software. So now that I have the button, look at my mouse. It has a little cassette tape icon on it. That means that right now the macro is running. It is recording everything I'm doing. So I need to record my signature how I want it to look. So I'm going to go ahead and type it out. And even if I backspace to repair any typo mistakes that I make, it will come out okay in the end. I'm going to go ahead and include my email because most people who get letters would prefer to, or they may not prefer it, but they often like to have the email address to get hold of me. So there's my professional signature and the little cassette tape is still going to run and anything else that I type will be recorded until I stop the recording. So I'm going to stop the recording by going back up here to the macros button 
and now I can click either pause recording if I need to pause for just a few moments and then do something else and then come back to it or stop the recording. I'm going to stop it. So now the recording has been made. The macro exists. How can I find out if it works? Well, I'm going to press enter a couple of times and I'm going to try out my new button up here. It worked. So from now on, anytime I need to insert my professional signature, all I have to do is click this button. Another thing you can do is once you have it recorded, you can click the upper half of the macros button and look at your list of macros that you have created so far. At this point, I've only got that one. You can also, if you want, add a description. I'm going to say that it inserts my professional business signature. Okay, and then that's it. I'm going to just click Run, and it runs it again no matter how many times you want to set it up. I'm going to record another video shortly that shows you how to edit a macro if you ever need to do so using a programming language called Visual Basic.